regardless of whether you um, prepare or not, the technology is coming. But they needn't scare us. I don't think they're going to exterminate us or replace us. They are our servants. But in future, it would be possible to take control of our own evolution and ensure that all sentient beings are happy and healthy. In future, it won't be necessary to, to work at all.我觉得说你不可能靠高科技来提供给你的快乐你的快乐其实是在你的心里面的你可以坐在这里决定说我今天快乐不快乐或者说我今天很伤心你可以自己决定我们的非营利性组织想就是说是教育这个全球各地怎
Humans have difficulty sorting out data because of our morals and our emotions and our judgments and biases, where an AI would do it more objectively without the biases and morals and certain parameters that would cause it maybe to go one direction rather than another. So I think it's very beneficial that the AI sort out our data so that we as humans can use our consciousness and our level of ethics and fine-tuning to determine what the best strategies are. As an educator, where I work as a professor, senior professor at a university, one of my courses I teach is artificial intelligence and philosophical and ethical issues concerning AI. It's very important that we teach our children early on the value of ethics, the value of right and wrong, so that we can show them by way of example how to be in the world. If our children understand levels of consciousness or awareness and respect for others, then we can help build that into the AI and they would certainly be able to discern, to understand the difference between right and wrong. In education, we knew new systems. These new systems are based on online learning, uh, lifelong learning, edux, different types of modalities for learning where we can learn 24-7, take courses online and not only get degrees, for example, a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or a PhD doctorate degree in certain fields, but have accumulation of different levels of expertise across different fields as transdisciplinary skills. So I could see where blockchain and AI could be very important in designing out new strategies for building out educational vehicles for learning skills and techniques to better get jobs. Yeah, my message is, shouldn't be afraid of the future. I think it is more a question of preparing our children for the future. Uh, what really matters? Uh, I think a lot of people are scared by robots and artificial intelligence, but they needn't scare us. I don't think they're going to exterminate us or replace us. They are our servants. And because, and this is a controversial view, I don't think silicon robots are conscious or, or sentient. Yeah, I think we can treat them uh, as our servants and they will look after us. One big dilemma for the future, though, is that uh, in future, robots will be better conversationalists, better lovers. If you could choose, would you have as your partner a traditional human being, or would you choose to have a, a robo-lover, robo-companion, who is a brilliant conversationalist, fantastic lover? Uh, in that sense, um, yeah, that, that is a dilemma. Every child born today is a unique genetic experiment, but increasingly it is going to be possible for all prospective parents to choose the genetic makeup of their future children, starting with pre-implantation genetic screening, but then actually tweaking the genome. And I hope in future that all babies will be designer babies babies that are genetically predisposed to be not just uh, extremely intelligent but also extremely happy because nature did not optimize humans or other living organisms to be happy. Nature simply optimized us to leave more copies of our genes but in future it would be possible to take control of our own evolution and in ensure that all sentient beings uh, are happy and healthy. And a lot of people take procreative freedom for granted, particularly in the West. But once we do phase out the biology of aging, yes, some very hard decisions will need to be taken. Humanity Plus is an international nonprofit. Um, it's one of their oldest futurist organizations. We have been organized conferences um, in uh, major universities like Harvard, Yale, Caltech. This is our second conference in Beijing. Um, our first time came here was 2013, and that's when we started the Beijing chapter. And we're super excited to come back to Beijing. Uh, we are. 
um, educate the public um, about um, the ethical uses of uh, technology to enhance human capacities. And we have you know, different dimensions from uh, philosophical ideas all the way to uh, you know, economic, political impacts. Um, and our conferences usually have like four sections of content. There is the AI and robotics side of it. Um, there's the longevity, uh, life extension. Uh, we also discuss the culture, creativity, um, you know, side of the impacts on our society, as well as political and um, socioeconomic impacts of the society with the exponential technology. And a lot of these things that we discuss, uh, you know, 20 years ago is it's very irrelevant, uh, you know. The organization can be perceived, you know, as you know, totally out there. It's very forward thinking. But now, you know, all these technology are currently available. Now, um, the idea of H plus, it's actually right, uh, you know, in front of you now. So it's very relevant. As a Chinese American, my personal passion is to bridge Western and uh, Chinese um, science and technology community. And this is very much aligned with uh, what Humanity Plus believe. In future, it won't be necessary to, to work at all. At the moment, people take it for granted. They have to sacrifice many hours of their lives doing, in many cases, boring, tedious, and worthless tasks. But in future, robots, artificial intelligence will be able to take care of all this. And so, yes, in future, people will be able to pursue the arts. I suspect, more plausibly, more and more people will spend their life in virtual reality, playing games, a lot of the time, entertainment. Because in future, with immersive, multimodal virtual reality, life can be more fun than it is today. Uh, I think a combination of genetic engineering to rewire and enhance our reward circuitry together with immersive virtual reality will lead to what today is, uh, yes, uh, a paradise, if you like.